What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to day two of On Shape. Today we're going to be doing something pretty simple, but it can be very effective when you're making certain parts, and that is a taper, or we're going to use uh, the command draft in On Shape. So to make sure we're all starting on the same page, let's come and go back to the main user interface, and this is what you see. My finished pieces, I'm going to go ahead and start throwing into a folder. So how did I make that folder? Under Create, um, it clicked on Folder, and you just name it whatever you want to name it, click on Create, and then you're done. So let's go ahead and make that taper today. So I'm going to click on Create, click on Document, and then I'm going to call this, uh, let's call this Taper Practice. Okay. Now, once I am in this user interface, let's go ahead and do what we did uh, before, and let's start a new sketch. So click on Sketch, or Control S if you want to. Click on the front panel right here, and remember it doesn't automatically rotate to where you need it to be. So get used to clicking on this view cube a lot. That way you're perfectly flush, things look okay. All right, now we're ready to draw our rectangle. So I'm gonna hit R on my keyboard, and draw a two-point rectangle. Now, the one thing we're also going to work on today is dimensioning. So you can see I have two dimensions uh, that are referenced right here as far as the square goes. I've got a height and I've got a width. So what I'm going to do then is some people are going to try to click on it, and then it's just you're, you're not going to click on the rectangle because I still have rectangles selected. So I'm going to hit Control-Z and get those two out of here. Hit Escape, that way I'm no longer in rectangle. And then I'm going to hit D key on my keyboard, and this allows me to create a dimension. So now I want this to be two inches. Now what you can do is you can click on dimension, and let's say, for example, I had a hard time selecting this line. You can also dimension the distance between two lines to be something in particular. Oh, let's try that again. D on my keyboard, click this line click this line, and the distance between those two lines is also two inches. So depending on how you want to do it, what's available, you can select the length of a line to be a, dist uh, a dimension, or you can select the distance between two lines to, to be a dimension. Either one works totally fine for what we're doing here. So now I'm going to click on the green check mark. We're done. Look at my front right top ISO cube. All I did was click on the corner here. Now let's extrude. So you can either click on extrude up here or you can hit shift E. Either one works. And then we're going to select the geometry we want to extrude. So I want to extrude this geometry and what we're going to do now is we're going to look at some of the features that are found in this panel. So you, the one we're going to really expand upon today is draft. And what Draft does is it'll take that geometry and flare it outwards or bring it inwards or taper it. And so depending upon what you want, I imagine some people are going to see this 3 and saying that's outwards and then they're going to try to put in a negative 3. You can't put a negative number in uh, the way how Onshape works. You can only put a positive number in and then flip the direction. So let's do a degree of, let's do 30 degrees and flip it and going in the opposite direction. And what this does for us is it creates a taper inwards and we have our finished triangle. Go ahead and just make my orientation planes invisible and we have our finished triangle. This is also a good time for you to get comfortable with rotating this piece around. So if you want to try to look at the bottom, move it around, learning how to scroll outwards and inwards, those will be super helpful as far as skills down the road. Okay, guys, that's going to be it for today's videos. If you have any question, let me know, and I will catch you on the next video. Take care. Good luck.